Hey guys, Andy here, and today I'm going to be talking about YouTube stuff as well as personal life stuff. Taking it back old school update style in this little raw vliggity vlog. So, I just got done filming a new Andy Talks Chip Andy episode, so be on the lookout for that coming soon. Really excited about that one, and it's going to be coming out probably either sometime this week or next, so just uh, keep your eyes peeled for that. And as far as this channel goes, I know you guys are probably wondering why I haven't really been uploading too frequently on here, more importantly why I haven't been live streaming on here in a while. And that's just because, you know, mental health's not in the best of straits right now. And I'm just getting kind of tired of answering the same old questions about the same old people that I've made videos about. And it's just getting annoying, you know, just having to deal with people trying to kind of bait me into talking shit about somebody who I don't really give a shit about anymore, to be honest. And, you know, they're the only ones who are talking in my comments at all. So it's like, it's kind of hard because, you know, on one hand, I don't want to ignore my audience. But on the other hand, if this is what I'm given, I don't really want to talk about that stuff. You know, it just doesn't really do me a bit of good. It just makes me kind of come across as bitter. And, you know, I did that before just because I felt it was kind of, you know, fun to poke fun at it. But uh, at this point, I'm just kind of done with uh, the whole situation, the whole drama and everything like that. And you know, if you guys want to know my full thoughts on the person in question, you guys probably already seen the video. It's got like thousands of views at this point. So you all know which one I'm talking about and you all know who I'm talking about. So, yeah, I think we're just going to keep uh, live streams on hiatus for the time being just till I get the upstairs all taken care of and just carry on from there. Now, as far as the Edit by Andy channel goes, I'm really looking forward to making some new content for that channel. I know I've been promising you guys all kinds of content for that channel, but I've been kind of hesitant just because I felt so, um, you know, obligated, I guess, to the other channels, you know, whether it's through the live streaming or you know, I haven't put out anything on the other channels. And I was like, eh, I should probably put something out, right? And just been feeling kind of guilty about that whole thing. But, you know, with putting live stream to bed for the time being, I think it's a good time to uh, really work on, you know, building up a good foundation with the editing channel. Putting out some basic tutorials as well as some other content that I've been promising you guys for a while. And uh, just go from there. You know, just focus on that mostly, building that up, trying to get a, a frequent audience because that's one of the main problems with that channel is that it gets just a lot of passers-by, but nobody, no, like, real dedicated audience for it. So, you know, that's something I'm going to be working on building up. So, uh, be on the lookout for more stuff for that channel coming soon. And as far as just, um, like, freelancing and just YouTube in general, I uh, spent the past five weeks while on break, um, just working, whether it's for you know, my jobs or doing freelance work. I uh, just been working as hard as I can just to keep the uh, the lights on, and myself very gainfully fed. <laughs> I know terrible camera angles, but what you gonna do? Um, and speaking of school, though, um, from earlier, <laughs> good transition, Andy. Uh, I just completed my first week of school back at Lakeland University of Japan, back for the fall semester of 2021. Woo. Doing it online once again. And yeah, feels good to be talking to people again, even if it's just online. You know, it feels good to be interacting with uh, students and stuff like that. Once again, feeling not quite as isolated as I did on break and stuff like that. So I'm going to be looking forward to getting some good grades this semester and carry on smartly with getting my bachelor's at the end of summer semester 2022. Woo. And uh, just carry on from there, man. But I guess the, uh, the main thing I want to talk to you guys about is just kind of, and this is 
basically what my uh, Andy Talks Japani video is about, which is, you know, what's keeping me here in Japan? You know, what, what sort of long-term goals do I have with living out here in Japan? And for me, it's to set up a career in video production. And I know you might be thinking, well, you know, they don't really have jobs like that out here in Japan. And I'm like, well, they do, but they don't. You know, as far as, as far as Arabaito work goes, I definitely am able to get my fill as far as that goes. But as far as, um, you know, visa, visa sponsoring work goes, for video production, there are jobs out there for it, but they're pretty hard to come by. And a lot of it has to do with network as well as timing. And now just ain't the right time, basically. So you know, I've been going out there and just applying to jobs just to kind of see what's out there because, you know, during this time, this is my last year in school. And usually most kids, they go and try to get like an internship or something like that with a company and see if they like it. If they do, then they already basically have a job guaranteed for them once they graduate. So it's going to be just an easy transition. And that's something I've been trying to get uh, while out here in Japan. But obviously with uh, what's going on in the world right now, it's a little bit difficult. And plus, you know, my school has just started up the bachelor's program. So they don't have all of the different pieces put into place as far as, you know, networks with companies to do internships and all this other stuff. It's basically you got to do it on your own. And with a lot of networking events and stuff like that canceled because of the, you know what, it's really hard to get out there and network with people and make friends even on other cases, which has also affected my own mental health. It's just, you know, it's hard to get out there and meet people right now because of current circumstances. You know, a lot of the other ways that I would have met people in the before times would have been, you know, going out to bars, finding like-minded groups, going and hanging out there, trying to make some friends, going to like meet up with like different groups and doing stuff like that. And you know, now that's all pretty much gone. You know, there's no in-person groups happening. I mean, probably for the best considering, but uh, it's still still taking a toll on the old uh, head brain to say the least. And uh yeah, it's just been something that's really hard for me to uh, to deal with, you know, and you know it's one of the reasons why I'm also looking into the possibility of you know moving out of Japan, going elsewhere, and it's not something that I know a lot of you want to hear because you just know me as the Japan guy, right? And plus, you know, I've been talking about you know wanting to return to Japan for so long once I came back and. Now that I'm here, it's, you know, it's just, eh, you know, but it's not really Japan's fault. It's just, it just happens, you know, but, you know, I'm just putting some feelers out there right now. Just kind of look and see what's to be seen, what opportunities I have, stuff like that. And we'll just go from there. So I'm not going to make a snap decision anytime soon because first and foremost, my main goal is to graduate. So, you know, even if I did decide to leave. I'm not going to leave until I get that paper in my hand. And uh, once I do, well, we'll go from there. But I just wanted to let you guys know that it could be a very real possibility in the uh, in the future that I might just end up leaving Japan, going back to uh, to America, and just carrying on from there. But at least at that point, I'll have my bachelor's degree, so I'll be able to get a job somewhere doing something. <laughs> and you know, worst case scenario, you know, I decide to go back to Japan once uh, borders reopen. You know, I'm able to do that and able to get a work visa. So, you know, even if I do decide to go back to America, Japan won't be, you know, a closed opportunity forever. You know, it'll still be there. You know, it was there when I left the first time and it'll be there if I decide to leave again. So I'm not really too hung up on you know leaving japan stuff like that and plus with the uh, the way the community is now it's like i don't really attach myself to 
like the J blog community like I did before because I know when I left pretty much uh, most of if not all of the J bloggers that I'd come to know you know you know just distance themselves from me because well, I'm no longer in Japan so I might as well just be dead you know just going back to cheeseburgers and guns land and it is what it is I'm not too bitter about it and plus at that time the community was kind of imploding in on itself anyway so probably for the best that I got out during you know the best possible time I guess in retrospect but you know for me uh, as far as YouTube stuff goes um, you know I want to focus on other things that are a bit more within my control rather than kind of the reliance that a certain group of people will still be around which is why I'm focusing more on video editing you know shooting stuff like that not only to you know help pay the bills but to build a portfolio and continue on my career in making them bids you know and as far as you know making my own stuff goes i think there's just more of a future for me in making stuff about video editing than there is talking about japan and that's just the sad reality of the situation is that you know it's just with the videos that I make about Ancient Japandi, even though I feel a lot more passionate about those things, I know that, you know, they don't really bring in the views or the money. And, you know, I just, I've been hemorrhaging subscribers on that channel for months now. And, you know, people might be thinking, well, it's a small channel, so who gives a shit, right? Well, this is a small channel too. And even on this channel, I'm, I have a net gain of subscribers, not by much. But it's still a net gain. And on the Angie Japan channel, I'm just constantly losing subscribers more than I'm gaining them. And it makes hardly any money. I might be able to get like one chew eye a month from it, maybe. <laughs> and that's about it. You know, not that this channel brings in a whole lot of money, mind you, but the, uh, the lion's share of money definitely comes from the video editing channel. And I've been ignoring it for years and years. I know there's been a lot of people out there telling me, just make fucking tutorials, man. Nobody gives a shit about your life. You know? While I disagree with that statement, you know, I definitely do agree that you need to go out and make some more tutorials, set up a good stock of content out there so that people can go back to it and watch it. Because the nice thing about tutorials is that they're pretty much evergreen. You know, there's not going to be a huge difference in how you do a lot of things in Premiere, whether it's, you know, CS6 or CC 2015 versus CC 2021 or 2023 or whenever you're watching this video, greetings, if you're watching the future. You know, a lot of those same basic concepts are gonna remain true no matter what version you're in, unless like a huge shift happens. And at that point, I'll probably already have tutorials out for it again. I'll be able to re-release whole bunch of new content talking about the new changes so regardless of what happens you know i'll still be able to either be able to make new content or still get views from the older content because you know, that stuff's evergreen man and even though i haven't really uploaded to that channel very consistently it has been pulling in consistent views and has been pulling in consistent money and it's something that i definitely do want to focus more on <laughs> more on um but in a lot of ways I felt guilty about it because it takes time away from making videos that I'm passionate about whether that's talking with you guys through these personal vlogs or through sharing different parts of Japan whether it's actually going outside of this room or just talking in here with you guys about my own experiences living out here in Japan and you know those definitely mean the most to me but, you know, sometimes you just got to go with what you know, right? And I think, you know, now's a good time to uh, start building up that channel. And this doesn't mean, like, goodbye to the other channels or anything like that. It just means that I'm not going to be focusing on them as much moving forward. So, you know, you might get a video or two here or there. Um, but it's not going to be, like, a constant weekly, monthly sort of thing. It just... If it happens, it happens, right? And I think that's a pretty healthy attitude for YouTube in general. You know, even though if you want to grow on the on the platform, it's probably not the best way to go about it. You know, you definitely want to 
put yourself out there, but uh, you know, you just gotta find what, what works for you and uh, move forward with it. And for me, that's video editing, whether it's for my clients, for production companies, or for YouTube. You know, that's definitely something that I want to pursue further and to make more content to, to help people. Because that's, that's ultimately why I do YouTube, is not just for documentation of, of my own life, but uh, to also help people. And I feel like that's really important to me. You know, whether it's helped them get through a really rough time in their life. You know, I've had so many people talk to me about, you know, how my videos help them, you know, get the courage to come out to Japan or you know go and try something else new in their lives and even though I'm just a in the eyes of many a small nothing youtuber that nobody talks about you know to me just hearing a couple of those stories just makes it all worth it you know it just you know makes all the comments and the hard work and all that stuff worth it no matter how big of a check google throws in front of me or whatever you know just Hearing stories from you guys about stuff like that is, that's why I do YouTube, you know. It is nice to get that paycheck every couple months, but those are the stories that really make it worthwhile. And, you know, with helping people get into video editing and being able to get more people on the platform and show them that it's, you know, not as hard as you might think it is and that it is very doable and to you know later you know once you know once i actually gain the courage i guess to make stuff that's not just tutorials um i also want to talk more about just the video making process and freelancing because freelancing is very important to me as well you know because freelancing has allowed me to not have to work a non video production type job for i don't know what a nine, about two three years at this point I haven't worked a, a non video related job you know like I said I've done free work freelance work since 2015 but that's just been on the side you know I've worked other jobs as well and this one definitely gives me the most satisfaction it allows me to work for from wherever I am in the world so this whole stuff going around actually it's, it sounds really bad, and I, I trust me, I don't mean it to sound bad, but it has actually benefited me in a lot of ways, and that it's allowed me to work from home rather than get on the train and go into a studio or wherever where I'm just kind of under the gun as far as putting stuff together, and I can just sit here, drink a little cup of coffee, put together videos, and uh, still do good things, you know? So, and speaking of coffee, I think this one's about ready to... Hit the Brown Town Station, if you all know what I mean. So, I'm gonna have to end things here. So, I just want to thank you guys for all the support over the years, uh, whether it's here on Discord, Twitter, Instagram, wherever. <laughs> I guess the real question is, where am I not? Right? Uh, I just want to thank you guys for all the support and giving this uh, alleged nothing YouTuber um, much love. And I want to give that back as much as I can. So, with all that said, this is Andy. Sign up for now. As always, forever. We'll see you next time. Catch you later, guys. Bye. Ooh, ooh, I gotta get, get this going. All right, bye.